Hello Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. My name is Victoria, this is Radiant Moon Tarot, and today we are bringing forth messages from your angels, your spirits, your guides, your past loved ones, your spiritual soul tribe, if you will. This is a timeless reading, so whenever this finds you is exactly when it's meant to. So let's get into it. Keep in mind, folks, this is a general reading for the collective energy, so take what resonates with you, leave the rest behind, check out your sun moon rising and or venus sign readings for the big picture and to see what else is coming through for you guys so let's get right into it and have a look if you do find by the way that you enjoy my readings please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and the more interaction on a video, the more it helps crack that algorithm. So your Archangel Michael message here is be honest with yourself. All your feelings, even difficult ones, have a message for you. Accept your truth and then let Source take it from there. Archangel Michael is trying to help you here to be strong. Sometimes we, the truth shall always set you free, um, but sometimes the truth hurts. Yeah. Um, you know, this can be, it's, it's a human way of protecting ourselves. But as we're on the path to enlightenment, as we're on the path to, gr and to growth, personal, mental, emotional, spiritual, we do have things that we do need to work through and that we do need to address. So Archangel Michael is here bringing you this sword of light to bring you strength, to help you detach, to help you heal. Archangel Michael can bring you that little bit of extra guidance and protection that you do need. This can also represent a specific situation going on in your life right now. Are you in a situation where you are hiding from the truth? Or maybe you know that there's something that needs to change or something that needs to be addressed. And sometimes, again, we do, um, as a form of protection, we do kind of sweep things under the rug a little bit or you know we do get in that mode where if I ignore something maybe it'll go away so again Archangel Michael is here saying the truth shall set you free and when we are honest and truthful not just with ourselves but maybe even with those around us as well it can really help propel us forward and get out of a rut and sometimes it's difficult and sometimes it's easy breezy. So the main point there, be honest and truthful with yourself first and foremost. We have your numerology. We've got number 88 bringing you abundance into your life. Think about what you want now. Be honest with yourself. Attach feelings to it because you are attracting abundance in all forms. This is an absolutely magical card. Magical. Eights represent manifestations, also represents infinity. Recognize your infinite potential to find what it is you're looking for, to attract more good things into your life. Be thankful and grateful for everything that you have, everything that you've been through, everything that you've experienced through your life, and you will get more things to be thankful and grateful for. And yes, we can even be thankful and grateful for the things that haven't gone our way. Why? Because we still gain something. We gain wisdom. We gain experience. Hopefully we learn a lesson. And sometimes those lessons are hard. Sometimes they're a little bit easier. But we can still be thankful for them. Even a door that closed can quite often lead us on a better path. So again, thankful and grateful. So you've got abundance of all forms flowing into your life right now. So what it is, what is it that you want? Okay, embrace that energy. Okay, embrace that. Whatever energy you're putting out, you are attracting that back to you. And it's absolutely beautiful. We have balance. Mm, we've got suffering and silence. And we also have moving on. So the balance card coming out of this deck is actually Libra and energy bringing you forth the justice card, brings you in um, honesty and truth, okay, and brings you in some really good karma. You're being invited now to have a look at the commitments that you've made in your life, okay? Has something run its course? Do you need to pursue something? Um, because when we do get the justice card, this can represent 
the things that we've committed to. Um, but sometimes those things need further examination. Sometimes we need to make decisions as well. Um, the Justice card does bring us about the sword of truth, the sword of honesty, the sword of communication as well. And, you know, can help us detach from situations or see the truth. So you're really being invited here to be very honest in both uh, both cards, okay? Um, but the balance card also, with justice card, also asks you to have a look at your life to see where things may need adjustment. Is there somebody taking from you and not giving back? Is there a situation where you give and give and give, but you're just not, you're not getting your rewards? Perhaps it's time to make change. Perhaps it's time to put up some boundaries. Maybe it's time to leave a situation to pursue something a little bit better. Whatever it is, know that you've got some really good karma on your side. But this is an invitation really to go within there as well. And sometimes that's not always easy, right? But balance and balance and harmony are very important in life in all aspects. And sometimes we get through temporary periods where we have to focus on the one thing. But it can't be a forever thing. It shouldn't be a forever thing because it's just not going to work in the long run. So recognize those things that should have been a temporary situation, but have turned into something a little bit more long term. And this can really have you going around in circles or just not getting anywhere. So balance is very important. Balance between the masculine and the feminine, between taking action and being open and receiving. Balance in <clears throat> work home life. Right? Are you working too much and not spending enough time on yourself or with your friends or with your family? Do you have a singular focus? This can be a balance between your physical world and your spiritual world as well. Right? When we focus too much on the one thing in the one area, something else gets neglected and that's quite often where we fall into our shadow side, right? We overcompensate for something. Think about if you're really focused on your physical, your material world, but you're ignoring your emotional body or your spiritual body. This is where we fall into some bad habits to self-soothe, where we drink or we overeat or, you know, things like that, right? We make some, you know, uh, some bad choices kind of, so to speak, right? So it's, we're overcompensating for something that's, that's missing, that we're not really focused on or we're not engaged in. So um, really have a look at that. And again, be honest with yourself about that. But we do have suffering in silence now. This is the Nine of Swords, okay? So when we do get this particular energy coming in here, there's something here you're being very encouraged to recognize what scares you, what gives you anxiety, or you know what it is that's holding you back. What is bringing in a little bit of angst for you? Because you're being very encouraged here to look to the future and to move forward. Things may be difficult right now. You might have a lot of worries on your mind. You might be in a situation where you just don't know where you're going or what you're doing. Or you have something that you know you need to address and instead of addressing it, we internalizing it. Suffer in silence. But with the moving on energy here, this is the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords is a card of protection. You're always being guided. You're always protected. Call on your, Arch call on your angels, spirits, guides, Archangel Michael specifically. And even though there's dark times, maybe right now or maybe something in your past that's coming back up, you're being very encouraged to look to the future. There are better times ahead. There's a light at the end of the tunnel here, out of the darkness and into the light, out of a troubling energy into a more calmer period, a more peaceful period in your world. And again, you've got a lot of help and guidance along the way to help you do that. So um, I think you, you are being shown a path, you are being shown a way forward, and you are being shown that there is something wonderful on the horizon for you. All right, so sometimes in that Nine of Swords energy, the suffering in silence, sometimes we do kind of obsess about things a little bit. And, you know, we're like, I really want this and I really want this to change. And, um, you know, but, you know, I'm just so worried that maybe things won't. So you're really being um, shown here that the way forward and the way to 
move on and to get some traction here is to focus on the positive, to focus on where you want to get to, but allow things to happen along your way as well, right? Be ready to take the steps forward. Be ready to take some initiative or take some action forward. Recognize when the time is right. You'll know if you trust your intuition, okay? Trust your gut instincts, okay? Um, but when we focus on the light, things get a little bit easier, right? And again, with abundance flowing towards you and around you, you're attracting abundance of all kinds into your world, okay? We want to focus on the things that we want, the things that we want to happen. We don't need to micromanage the universe. We don't need to control the outcome. And we need to allow certain things to run their natural course. And we do need to take initiative when we are called to, because we're always co-creating with the universe, with spirit, right? We do our part, they do theirs, okay? But when we focus on the positive and we focus on that abundance or we focus on our, um, you know, desired destination, then things do get a little bit easier. We unstick ourselves. Judgment card, bringing you clarity, truth. The Ten of Wands, yeah, we are done, done, done with the situation. And we've got the King of Pentacles coming in there for you as well. That's absolutely beautiful energy. The Judgment card here overrides the difficult energy, okay? You've got the, you've got the Justice card and the Judgment card, okay? So um, both of you bringing clarity and truth and honesty into your situation, okay? When we get the Judgment card, this really does draw things out of the darkness into the light so that we can gain clarity, so that we can address things, we can examine things, and then we can make a decision, we can make a final judgment. Are there things that I want to keep? Are there things that I want to release out of my life? What is holding me back? What do I want to move forward with? Where do I see myself heading? What is the truth of a situation? The judgment card brings the truth to light and there's no denying anything, chasing all the shadows away. So ultimate clarity, ultimate clarity there with that energy. But the Judgment card is a card of releasing and letting go, preparing for our next steps forward, our next step in our journey. But it's also a card of second chances. So sometimes we can breathe fresh life into a situation or we can feel a little bit more alive, right? We feel like we've been squirreled away, like we're in the dark about things, okay? Or just in the general energy that's been around you in some way. And now it's our time to come out into that light, to come out of the darkness, to move forward, right? To have a second lease on life or just to feel a little bit more alive or free. The judgment card is a very spiritual energy, very, 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 and is represented by Archangel Michael, who is actually showing you, be honest with yourself. Truth shall set you free. And the judgment card brings that truth to light and gives you that sense of freedom. So there may be things here again that may be coming up to the surface for you. Or maybe there's something that you need to re-examine in your life. Maybe there's something you can fix or heal as well. There's that second chance, right? So, you know, you're really, really being invited here to go within. Because it's been a difficult journey. You've got a lot of stress and burdens. We've got the Ten of Wands. Now, the great thing with um, the Tens, Tens are endings leading way to new beginnings. So there's new beginnings on the horizon for you in some way, right? It doesn't need to be that you're getting rid of everything in your life and you're just every you're starting everything new, right? It can be um, making positive change in a situation to restore balance and harmony, to speak your truth, to get things out in the open, judgment card, very much so, all right, so that you can establish some boundaries and you can restore a healthier environment around you. You can make a challenging situation, a difficult situation better, right? We don't always have to let everything go in our lives. The Ten of Wands does show that there's been um, challenges, there's been burdens, you've had a lot of stresses, um, you've had a lot of difficulties along the way, or you're just feeling this heavy energy, okay, and so, but you've never given up, 
you keep moving forward one foot in front of the other you probably you know a lot of us right we don't have any choice but to do that but sometimes in the ten of wands energy it's like we are so stressed and we are so burdened that yes the anxieties the fears the worries the things come up so spirit is showing you here that there is a release this is shining a light on what is causing difficulty or what is holding you back all right and this is where you do maybe establish some boundaries. Maybe you have a conversation with somebody or perhaps this is just showing you that there is a change coming for you in a very big way, in a very incredibly positive way. Release your burdens, your doubts, your fears to your angel spirits guides. They will help you every step of the, step of the way. You are being guided. You are being shown some signs along your journey. Maybe you're even having dreams. The Nine of Swords there um, can sometimes represent dreams coming in. They might be weird, um, you know, but sometimes our dreams are giving us those messages that we really desperately need. Because on the horizon for you is the King of Pentacles. Now, the King of Pentacles can certainly be a person that may enter your life that can really help you in some way. This can be um, somebody that helps you financially, helps you in your career path, helps you in your home, or maybe just has some information and guidance for you. People are quite often put on our path, whether they're people we know or whether they're new people, but they're quite often put on our path for a reason, for a purpose. Sometimes that purpose is short. Sometimes it's for long term. This can be a healthy commitment restored in your relationships. This can be an influx of money coming your way as well. The King of Pentacles is all about success and abundance and prosperity in your world and for the long term. Now, it's also a card of success and leadership, taking control, taking charge of a situation. So again, if life has beat you up, if there's been situations that have been draining your energy, the King of Pentacles can be you doing this work. And this King of Pentacles can be you feeling good, feeling confident, feeling like you've made the right choices, the right decisions, and moving forward in a very healthy way, right? Examining things here and then being like, yep, I'm changing my situation. I'm changing my life. I know what I need to do. I'm feeling better. I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling like I've got all my ducks in a row. I'm focused on the light. I'm focused on my destination. And I just know that I'm going to attract positive energy. I'm going to attract positive people. I'm going to attract opportunities. I'm going to attract money. I'm going to attract stability and security into my life. And that is a powerful, powerful energy to step into. So embrace all of this wonderful help that's coming your way, that's flowing your way, because I think there's a little bit of magic in the air for you guys here. But be open and receptive to new people, or be open and receptive to, you know, having a, getting a second chance, or maybe even giving someone a second chance, or give yourself a break, okay? That too. So let's get a couple more messages out here for you. So we're going to bring out some magical spell cards. And these have little um, magic spells on them. You turn them into an affirmation if they, ref, um, if they resonate with you. And let's see what we've got here. We've got divine guidance. Isn't that beautiful? Now that's actually card number 38. Threes are about creation, abundance, prosperity, um, all these wonderful things coming into your life. Eights, of course, is representative of unlimited potential, abundance, manifestation. But if you put the three and eight together, it's number 11. The justice card is number 11. Divine guidance. Whispers from the begin, whispers from the beings who shine. Let their message be clear and kind. All right, calling in that divine guidance for you. And they're already making their presence known by bringing you the number 1111. And actually, the Ten of Wands breaks down into a one. So numerologically, you've got five ones on the board for you. But use that as your affirmation. Call in your divine guidance, which is always around you anyway. But when you do call in, especially Archangel Michael, because this presence is um, very strong 
cure for you guys. And to call in Archangel Michael, all you do is close your eyes, just set an intention, and you can actually call his name three times, and boom, you will get something something will shift and really fast actually okay so it could it, but be open to the signs because of course our angel spirits guides help us in mysterious little ways and we need to be receptive to those messages that they give sometimes it's just a sense of calm and peace sometimes there might be you know if you're listening to the radio there might be a song that pops up on the radio that just shows you in some way resonates with you in some way that yes your message has been heard um, I've called in Archangel Michael before when my dog has been very um, anxious, like fireworks, things like that, like, you know, um, Halloween and things, and just being beside herself, like for hours on end. And, you know, so I've called in angels to come and help and boom, all of a sudden she's just within about five minutes, 10 minutes, calm. So it does work, right? But you have to be receptive to that. We also have card number 26, which breaks down to an 8 too, by the way. True love come to me. True love shall come to me as I do will, so mote it be. Love does not have to be romantic love. It can be friends, partnerships, people that care about you, people that have your best interests at heart. But love is the highest vibration of all. Love of self included. So there's an affirmation for love for you. I'm going to leave that there for you folks. I hope there was something here that resonated with you. If there was, please hit like on this video and subscribe to my channel. Uh, feel free to check out the rest of my videos and playlists as well. There's links all over the place um, on this video for you. So I thank you. I hope to see you here again. Have a wonderful, beautiful day.